Let us now talk about pulse. The definition of pulse is it is a wave of distension which is felt in the wall of arteries during every uh, heartbeat or ventricular system. So let us first write down the definition and then we'll try to understand what exactly it means. So a pulse is defined as a wave of distension felt in the wall of arteries during or during instead of during let us write following every ventricular system. So now what exactly are we uh, trying to say from this uh, definition? It's a wave of distraction. Now let us uh, take a simple example to understand. Suppose this is the blood vessel or artery which we are drawing here. This is an artery and it is receiving the blood from heart. Situation one, the heart contracts. That means the ventricular contraction or ventricular systole is what we are talking about. So ventricle pumps the blood into the arteries. So now the artery has the blood and the blood is flowing because of this force with which it is coming from the heart. Now after this, the situation, this is heart contraction. That is ventricular contraction we are talking about. After this, the next situation is, this is the artery and the heart is relaxed. That is in diastole. It is not pumping new blood into it, but there is blood which is already there in the artery. Situation 3. This is the artery and now again the heart pumps the blood. That is the contraction. So, as we said, there is blood already in the blood vessel and more blood is being pumped from here. So, the blood which now comes, it sort of pushes this existing blood here and the blood which is coming here is coming with force and that is why the wall of artery shows its elastic because of its elastic nature stretches a little bit and this is felt in the form of a wave of distension so if we press our finger on an artery we would find that wave of distension one time the heart pumps the blood. So the blood goes into the blood artery we are talking of under uh, that force or with that force. After that the heart or the ventricles are in diastole. The blood is still there in the artery. Now next time when the ventricles contract the blood which is already there gets pushed and the blood which is coming here is with force. To withstand that force, the artery's wall, it stretches a little bit because they are elastic. So, that jerk or that jerky movement is felt in the form of the wave of distension. That is known as pulse and that is why we define it as it is a wave of distension which is felt on the wall of the arteries following every ventricular system. Every time ventricle contracts it is pumping fresh blood into the arteries and this fresh blood is pumping the blood which is already there and the wall of the artery because of its elastic nature stretches and that stretching is fed in the form of this pulse and normally where do we feel our pulse the pulse can be felt in all arteries but we can feel it only if the artery is superficial because when we were comparing arteries and veins we said arteries are deeply seated under the muscles and veins are superficial so that the places where arteries are superficial those are the regions where we can feel the pulse and the most common place is along the side of our thumb 
thumb, if we press our fingers here, we can feel the pus. This is the site where the radial artery is and it is superficial. So one location where the, uh, the pulse can be felt is radial artery. And the radial artery, there are two. One is on this side, which is ulnar, and this is the radial one. So if, and that is on the side of our thumb. So if we press our fingers here, we can feel our pulse because this is the place, the, our wrist is the place where this radial artery is superficial. So this is the wrist region. This is one region where we can feel it. Second region is temple. This point of our forehead. This, these two areas, these are known as temple region. So in temples. Third, in the neck region, in this area also we can feel it. So neck and fourth is ankle. In our ankle region also the arteries are superficial. So there are four places where arteries are superficial and we can feel the pulse. <coughs> Sorry, the most common is the wrist where the radial artery is superficial. Now, whenever we see or when we try to feel our pulse, we are actually counting our heartbeat. So, how is the pulse and the heartbeat they are related? As we explained here, every time ventricle contracts, the pulse is generated. So, now let us compare the two things that is heart rate and pulse frequency. Though we use pulse or pulse frequency to calculate our heartbeat. And the reason why we do it? Because every time we feel a pulse, it is generated due to ventricular systole. So heart contracts, the pulse is felt. Heart contracts, the pulse is felt. So every time a pulse is felt, that means heart has contracted. So we can calculate it that way. But the technical differences. Heart rate. What is heart rate or what causes this heartbeat actually? Or heart rate or heartbeat? Let us also say heartbeat. What causes heartbeat? It is defined as the contraction of the walls of the heart. So this is due to contraction of wall of heart. And we know it is made up of cardiac muscles. And what causes the pulse? It is the contraction or stretching due to, we can say, due to the smooth muscles of the arteries. So here it is due to cardiac muscles, here it is due to the smooth muscles of the artery. Here the muscles are in the wall of the heart, here they are in the wall of the arteries. Second, what is the cause of this? The cause is nodal tissue. Nodal tissue is responsible for generation of this heartbeat. So stimulus comes from SA node plus the cardiac muscles. And what is the reason for this thing to happen is <coughs> Sorry. the elastic nature, elastic nature of the muscle or muscle wall. elastic nature of the muscle wall. Who is going to control this after uh, SNO? SNO is the place from where it is going to get generated. But our heart is also under two more controls. One is nervous and endocrine. So third point is it is under the control of SNO is obviously there. Our heart is myogenic but apart from that under the control of nervous and endocrine system. Certain hormones and 
certain nerves like we'll talk about it when we come to the control of heartbeat so just uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic plus adrenaline as a hormone they are responsible for this control and what is responsible for this it is the heartbeat which is responsible for generation of the pulse so here it is the heartbeat so this is due to sa node which is the pacemaker which is responsible for this heartbeat and other than that it is also under nervous and endocrine control whereas pulse is generated after heartbeat so it is heartbeat which is responsible for formation of this pulse so this is some technical difference between the two here the wall of the heart is responsible for heartbeat here it is the smooth muscles of the wall of the arteries and the point of generation also but because every wave that is pulse is the result of the ventricular contraction of systole and that is why whenever we count our pulse that gives us the idea of the heartbeat and that is why by counting the pulse we are actually counting the heartbeat and that is why pulse is measured instead of actually measuring the heartbeat the this is how the pulse is generated and the difference between the heartbeat and